<laughs> Hi, this is Milo from The Descendants, uh, and this is What's Up TV. So what's up? I guess a couple questions make this quick and painless. Um, uh, one question, uh, why Epitaph? Why did you guys decide to uh, go with putting something new out on Epitaph? Yeah, so the, the band, this band and all, the other band, all, they're kind of like sister bands or whatever, and all was on, uh, at, was on uh, Interscope. And they put out a record called Pummel, and that the, the, they didn't have a really good experience in Interscope. They just basically Interscope didn't lift a finger for them, which is you know I guess a typical thing that in a major that you do that that would happen is that you know you kind of get lost in the shuffle. You know they were Interscope was so busy putting out records, uh, you know by Criminals and, and, and stuff like that. So they just decided, well let's take our music elsewhere, and they started looking around and. and that, Epitaph seemed like a really good place for them to go because they're they're kind of friends of ours from the days of Bad Religion and everything. We used to, we used to tour with Bad Religion all the time. Yeah, and, and just they're just friends of ours and and plus for a record label they really are like they're they're, they're number one fan fans and they're just they just happen to be fans that run a record label. So to have people who are that enthusiastic about the music to us that's what it's all about. It's not about like some guy in a some business guy in a suit. It's hawking, hawking records. It's more like these guys are fans, and they just like to make, they like to put out music. So it worked out real good. That's it. Anything else you want to say? What's it? Anything else you want to say? Or? Uh, none of us in the band skate because we've all broken limbs in the past. And it makes it difficult to play your musical instrument when you've broken your limbs. So none of us skate. But I used to have like you know, the, I used to have a black knight back in the early '70s. Right uh, on. I, when, they, when they switched over to the urethane wheels, I don't know. I had red riders for a while, and then I broke. And then I broke my wrists, and I, I quit. But I never had OJ's. I had the red riders. I don't know. So we're not we're not real skaters now. But that's okay. What's that? Anyone surf or snowboarding in the band? I used to surf too. Like I grew up in Southern California, so I used to surf. Are you from Southern California? No, I was just there like two months ago. <laughs> yeah, well, I used to surf, and, and then my vision got so bad that I couldn't see the waves as they were coming in, so I had to quit that too. We're basically like, like I grew up in, a, in a, an area where you were expected to surf and skate, and yet, and yet I had limited success with both. I just said, "Fuck it," you know, I'm gonna go like read a book instead or something. That's gonna be. Contributed actively to your neurology. Yeah, yeah. Your inability to surf and skate. Well, because I felt like such a fish out of water. Yeah. I mean, if I if I didn't know how to surf and skate, and I lived in Omaha, Nebraska, it wouldn't have been that big a deal. So you're saying if you had that trouble, you would be Spicoli right now. Yeah. Something. Yeah, I'd probably Spicoli. Probably. Yeah. <laughs>